Hello, this is Solar PVTV for the last time from Desert Energy Leadership Summit. Now we are preparing for the visit of Al Maktoum Solar Park. But uh, it's a pleasure to speak with the Irish guy, with uh, Rory O'Neill, who is a founder and chairman of uh, Europa Grid. So first question, uh, Rory, how do you enjoy the weather here? Well, it's uh, a little bit different to Ireland. Um, you know, going from you know nine degrees and raining to you know thirty degrees and, and sunshine, um, it's uh, it's a little bit different. So, uh, Rory, how did you enjoy you know the uh, the whole concept of the event, and actually, what uh, brought you here to Dubai? Well, you know, the, the whole event was uh, one that's totally geared towards um, you know renewable energy and creating a totally clean renewable energy system, and for us as a transmission developer. Uh, particularly one, uh, and uh, what we like to call ourselves a disruptive transmission developer. Um, we're a, sort of a unique species uh, in that there's so many plans to create these great visions of interconnected grids, but they have to be built. Mm -hmm. So uh, our function is to act as a developer of uh, these missing links. So you are actually the guys who are making the job done. Yes, so it's it's always the, the the chicken and egg situation, you know the 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 resources are there, but the transmission system isn't. So what we want to do is actually provide the transmission systems uh, in a in a very innovative way that you know take into account the whole concept of the energy internet, um, which you know combines both the transmission capability but also data and other sorts of interconnectivity, uh, and to provide those missing links in order to enable. The, the renewable uh, energy networks, and particularly you know, new cross-border trade and opening up new trade routes and pathways. And could you uh, tell us, you know, in a couple of words, uh, the history of your company and uh, what are the major activities, uh, which are the major markets, and uh, what is your, uh, let's say, short-term uh, and long-term vision? Okay, so our company is uh, in three divisions. Uh, interconnectors, smart grid, and energy trading platform and there are three major activities so for interconnectors we're interested in building those missing links those cross-border links um, we have uh, 39 projects across the world uh, at different stages of development we hold a number of licenses and for some of the existing missing links those lines that are you know, for the last 10 years have appeared in all of these drawings we're moving those projects forward such as interconnection between North Africa and Europe where we're actually bringing forward real projects uh, today. Uh, our smart metering business is to actually uh, deploy smart meters in a, in a real way, in a meaningful way, but also to, uh, to manage the data associated with that, because the volumes of data are so large um, that it's very difficult for DSOs to integrate uh, data into their IT systems, so we've uh, developed some proprietary solutions for that. And then our third business is uh, a division, it's called Electrina, which we're very excited about uh, because that's all about the disruptive grid and distributed energy resources, which uh, provide you know, a very exciting future. Actually, uh, with the third solution, we are coming to our topic, yes, that we wanted to discuss, the, let's say, centralized uh, towards the centralized system, yes? Mm -hmm. Because like we discussed uh, together with Sergey, yeah. uh, that uh, most probably the biggest disruption will happen in energy sector uh, from, let's say, the centralized uh, energy uh, system and thinking also mm -hmm. towards the decentralized. So what is your opinion and how your company would like to, you know, contribute to this transition disruption? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it's, it's, nothing's changed from the time of Edison up until market liberalization in the last you know 15 20 years um, and you know the whole value chain has changed it, it's it's no longer uh, you know the the the, the, the supplier uh, generator supplier, the vertically integrated utility. We, we now have the rise of prosumers. We have great new technology. Um, we have uh, a socially aware um, a consumer. We have a sharing economy. And the combination of all of these things is, is very exciting because you take uh, um, EVs, uh, but also battery storage technology and uh, you know, PVs on, 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 on home. So this is change of the whole paradigm. Yeah? 
the whole paradigm is completely changed, where, 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 whereby um, you know, it's a, this whole new two-way market where it's, it's become so decentralized. And when you think of how, uh, how uh, cryptocurrencies have developed and blockchains, it's uh, sort of the ultimate democratization of the energy systems. And part of what we want to do is at two ends of the system. So with the interconnectors, it's the wholesale trading between, uh, between markets and continents. Uh, and then on, the, on, on the, the Electrina end, it's to actually facilitate all of those microtransactions to provide a platform that can, in a secure way, uh, facilitate the trading of the, uh, the trading of energy from that becoming like a uh, billions of utilities, yeah. Yes, <laughs> yes, and to manage the data associated with that. So, if you consider um, the average utility in Europe would have had you know, one kilobyte of data per year for the one meter reading, and now you go to smart meters, which can, say, on 15-minute intervals. Um, the, the 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 percentage increase in data it's in the hundreds of thousands of percentage increase of, of data volume and that's very difficult to manage but it's understanding what to do with that and how to optimize it how to optimize it and the new business opportunities that that it brings if you know what to do with it so uh, you know we're, we're now in the age of where you know the, the third uh, energy revolution or the third industrial uh, revolution where the where the internet meets energy and that's really really exciting so uh, I would like to ask you because uh, uh, we are also discussing that you have, uh, let's say, former high-level politicians in your board, yes, and you are in interacting also with uh, a lot of governments and yes. high-level politicians. Yes. And I think that uh, this is also we are speaking about the change of the mind of the decision makers, yeah. Yes. And uh, do you think that they feel that this transition, this uh, disruption, as a threat, or they are also seeing kind of opportunity? I think they're seeing it as an opportunity, you know, because um, you know because society is changing and the whole the whole movement towards a zero carbon society is very important. It's important for everybody, for us and for the future. And politicians tend to think about you know the next election cycle. So, uh, you know, interconnector projects, for example, tend to be very long term cycle projects. Um, so what we've tried to do is try to uh, take an approach where we 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 even brand them easy interconnector. So energy. Uh, energy internet smart, or sorry, energy internet smart interconnectors, uh, where we where we, we we look at the interconnectors a little bit differently, so we can deploy them faster, uh, and taking into account uh, the political concerns. So our business model is when we're we're a merchant developer, with no recourse to consumer tariffs. We take the market risk because we see that we are enabling. Um, future generations of renewable energy to be actually traded and transported across borders. Mm. So, Rory, do you imagine, you know, let's say from the uh, technological but also from the practical political point of view, the situation that, for example, someone is producing electricity in Shanghai and is selling through the blockchain to someone in Chile, for example? I certainly think that that's, that's where I think we will end up. It's uh, it's the ultimate goal. It's uh, you know we have the internet as it is at the moment, but the creation of an energy internet will make that uh, a possibility. Just like you can send an email from one one side yeah. of the world to the other, you can do the same hopefully in the future with energy, and that requires great amounts of interconnection, but also data management uh, and the creation of you know the the uh, the internet enabled energy system. But you don't think that it will create political problems? Uh, certainly, it will, uh, and, and that's uh, that's going to be how 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 it's regulated. You know, where you know taxation is a big issue. Uh, you know, a lot of revenue for 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 governments is raised through um, through energy taxation, uh, and that's going to be an issue. But uh, you know, you know, the ultimate goal to to this to move to this zero carbon society is 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 very important for all. So I think those political barriers should come down as those national interests and those sort of protectionists, uh, uh, you know, ho ho hopefully they, they, they will. And you know, certainly as a company, we've faced uh, political barriers and we've tried to overcome them by you know, developing the, our, our interconnectors and our approach even to smart metering in a very different way. So in one that's conducive to um, you know, providing solutions that, are, that, that help the energy consumer save money, but also uh, provide socio-economic benefits uh, such as security of supply uh, and those sort of other you know, social surplus that is something that we can't actually uh, benefit from economically but we can uh, we provide as a I suppose an ancillary service to to governments
So it means that uh, Europa Grid will be assisting and facilitating this process to, to happen, yes? Yes, and, and you know, by being a sort of an independent transmission developer building these missing links, w you know, we have an opportunity to, uh, you know, to, to, to bridge the gap and to bridge the political gap. And so for, for us, you know, we've, we've, we've had a number of firsts where we were the first to propose merchant projects in certain countries where the very first meeting with the TSO was, no, we're, we're the, na the national monopoly, you know, go away. Um, and you know, we've, we've worked with governments um, and, and politicians and regulators to, to actually um, create a, an ecosystem um, which, uh, which is conducive to, to making those sorts of investments. And I, and I suppose... To confront the opportunity towards the threat. Exactly, exactly. And you know, to, you know, to build this, this, this ecosystem which is you know, of interconnectivity at both the wholesale end and right down to the domestic level. And that ecosystem is very important because if we get that right, um, you know, we will have the opportunity to be able to trade energy from Chile to Beijing um, in, in a very efficient manner. Uh, and, and by doing that, you know, by introducing the concepts of big data and the, the energy internet of things, I think you know, creates incredible opportunities for, 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 for everybody. And, and it's the whole idea of you know, the, the true democratization of, of, of energy. So the entire system is, uh, is going to change ra rather radically um, as, uh, as everything begins to change. You know, EV, EV cars, but you know, are, are, are you provide the potential to be um, you know, storage and balancing systems as well as uh, um, you know, the, the whole idea of ownership of, of, of vehicles towards, you know, again, this idea of a sharing economy. I think all of these things together with the, the, the concept of the, of the energy internet uh, you know, bring a lot of exciting changes. And Europa Grid, because of our three divisions, we're, we're trying to, to, to build this ecosystem. So the last, actually the last question, because we are at uh, a DII uh, summit, I would like to ask you, did you enjoy the summit and uh, are you going to join next year? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, we've, we, we've been friends with, uh, with, with the guys from DII for a very long time and we're, we're proud uh, this year to have, to have joined as a, as a DII partner and uh, we hope to participate and provide our expertise on, on transmission and interconnection. I think we're the only uh, transmission and interconnector developer that's part of the, the, the DII family and uh, you know, we're really proud to, to be here and to, to, uh, to participate and provide uh, you know, our sort of unique insight into these missing links. Okay, so thank you so much, Rory. That was Solar PVTV together with, uh, uh, let's say, Transmission Disruptor <laughs> with Rory O'Neill, uh, chairman and founder of uh, Europa Grid. And uh, now we are going to visit uh, Al Maktoum Solar Park and we'll meet with Rory for sure in the next future. Thank you so much. Thanks.